Hello guys, hola amigos. Today I'm going to speak a little bit about the start stop module. Welcome to a new video. So guys, as you know, the Qashqai comes with this um, fabulous stop start system that you can see here. And the idea is to reduce CO2 emissions. Well, the thing is, it does reduce those emissions, but it also is a big impact for your car battery and your uh, start motor and all those other pieces and uh, your fuel consumption, of course. So you can shut the option off, but every time you restart the car, you should disengage the option. So as I have shown on uh, my previous car, you can quite easily disable the start stop uh, system by inclining the sensor at downwards and um, this way the start stop system won't work any longer but the thing is that uh, the car will generate error codes that will be visible for Nissan mechanics and um, if you have a Nissan with an alarm system as to do have the UK cars and the overseas cars well the alarm system generates errors as well so you can use a module made by Duncho and the module is quite simple. When you start the car, you can see that the system is always on and you can disable it manually. If you shut down the car without the module, next time you should redesign enable manually stop start system. With the module of Dunjo. I shut the motor. And when I start the car again, it automatically detects your last decision. Stop start is off automatically. It's a great solution. It won't disable it permanently. Uh, it only remember your last option, which is quite logical. So the switch remains uh, active you can always change your option if you like and the module um, is really easy to install as you can see here now with, with that removed i can simply pull here in order to get a better access i pulled also on this side just pull backwards and it come loose loose and unscrew the screws under here and all the panel will come off so once you have to open the panel you can clearly see the blue connector from the stop start system as you can see here i will deconnect it to show you better what i'm talking about this is the connector and uh, as you can see there is a ground wire and there is a live wire yep. this is the module as you can see nicely made by Duncho there are three wires there is a black ground wire there is a blue wire and there's a red wire that goes all the way to um, piggyback fuse so now it is really simple we cut it a bit open we wire the ground to this black ground, we wire the blue to the red wire and we put in the fuse. So the fuse is the meter EG, so on the fuse panel itself you have a little schema and there you can see it, the meter EG, so that should be that fuse, so we can remove it with this little tool. In order to know if we have to put the piggyback this way or this way, you should test with a multimeter which side is live, which I'm going to do right now. So I wired up the ground. Now I will put the meter on 20 and I will test into the fuse holder which side is always live. So there's nothing, there's nothing neither. Now I will 
put the contact switch on. As you can hear, I put the contact switch on. And uh, when I touch the highest port, I have no result. And when I touch the lowest port, do have 12 volts. So now we know that this is the load side and this is the draw side. So if you want to put the fuse holder in, as you can see, I already placed the original fuse, the 5 amps. And it is uh, chipped with a 2 amps um, fuse in there. Well, the correct way to put it in is like this. This way the load is always coming in on this side. On the original circuit it goes this way and is drawn there. And on the new circuit, the added circuit, the load is coming in here and is drawn to my module. This way only one fuse will blow if it goes wrong and not all the fuses. I wired it up. I used these scotch locks connected, my favorite. You also can use these one um, or even solder them. I use these one because if I remove them, I just put a little bit of tape over them, slide this uh, cover back and you won't even notice, notice that the module was there. So now we can put it back in place like this. I will use some tape to um, attach the module to this cable harness. Now we can put the fuse, piggyback fuse in. So the piggyback is placed correctly with the draw side on the correct side. The cable is going down there. I taped it a little bit to take the stress out of the module. So that it is for today guys, um, I hope you like this video, big shout out to Dun Show who made this possible, uh, please check his channel as well, see the video description for that, and I see you in the next video, bye bye.